Hello and welcome on behalf of everyone here at the Lamb Center. We're so glad you joined us tonight. Thank you. My name is Edwina and I'll be your MC for tonight. Tonight we are going to hear from our staff, our volunteers, our donors, and our guests to see how it is that the Lamb Center is still helping our poor and homeless neighbors. First, let's hear from some of our guests. I've been homeless for over nine years and I now have housing thanks to the Lamb Center. I felt very discouraged, defeated. I had pushed my family and friends away. The Lamb Center provided me with the basic needs of food, clothing, the environment of love, of being able to walk into the Lamb Center and feel that I, I wasn't being judged, that I really felt the love of God here. I would not be here if it wasn't for the good Lord because my fall, I should have never walked away from. But by the grace of God, I'm still here and I'm still rolling and I still have a smile on my face and that's all because of him. I know God has a lot of plans for me and I know that Lamb Center is a part of God's plan in my life and because I really want to get back on my feet completely. If you look at me straight on, you wouldn't think, oh, Elizabeth, you are not homeless. But then when I would say, oh, yes, I am, and this is why. Fighting cancer, being homeless, is, is, is extremely hard. And I have no family, no. But it's, I did all this by myself. Well, not by myself, with grace of God. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us tonight. This has not been a normal year. Not for you, not for us. We started out not knowing how to handle this, what to do. But the one thing we decided very quickly is we couldn't do this remotely. We need to be here hands-on providing showers and laundry and meals for the folks that we serve every day. When this pandemic started, the governor told everybody to stay at home. That was the best thing you could do. Well, how do you stay at home when you don't have a home? Our case managers, at their own personal risk, sat down and filled out assessments to get over 120 of our guests isolated into motel rooms, a place where they could shelter safely and not have to worry about spreading the disease, So, which would go so quickly through the homeless community once it was there. And yet we have more and more people, new people, showing up every day who are newly homeless because of the pandemic. We are sort of God's emergency room. They will sit down with a case manager, who will listen to them for a while and figure out what their whole story is and what their greatest needs are. And that's when the story of transformation and hope begins. So sit back and enjoy the evening and listen to our, our staff and our guests tell their stories in their own words. This work is impossible without you. We couldn't do it and we thank you so much for your support. We're excited to announce that we have a matching gift fund. Any donations that you make tonight will be doubled up to $40,000. Also, we're going to hear how the Lamb Center has changed operations to continue to serve our guests. Lamb Center, we're, we're a daytime drop-in for the homeless. We provide a number of services for our guests. That, that all changed on, on March 18th, where we had to ask our guests who were in housing uh, not to come anymore. We changed our hours, where we have five guests coming in every half hour to shower, to get their clothes washed, and get food to eat, to get some case management, to get some their medical needs taken care of. When we made those changes, that is something, initially it really broke my heart. What we have not lost is really that sense of community. Now we have outside Bible study with proper social distancing, wearing masks under the canopy. In every bad situation, there's always a silver lining. And one thing we still provide here is we still provide Jesus here. We still offer that same love that we were able to offer before. Everything's different, but everything is still the same at the Lamb Center. Now during the pandemic, since there are fewer people and our hours are shorter, we only have time for one Bible study. We really hope that the guests will come and participate. Not every guest feels comfortable. And sometimes it's been a vehicle for some guests who have had to share a lot for a long time and haven't found the place. And all of a sudden, the Bible study becomes the place. We come here with the very generous intention of bringing Christ to the homeless. But the homeless end up bringing Christ to us. The hope we give them at the Lamb Center, taking care of their souls, their body, their needs, making them feel known. It is so important for our guests that we know them by name, we know their stories. It makes them feel they are valued, it makes them feel 
they want to go and do some something better for their life. You'll be pleased to know that our raffle prizes tonight include two $100 gift cards to Luciano's Italian Restaurant and Pizzeria. Stay with us because the winners will be announced at the end of the program. Next up, we're going to hear from our guests the impact that the pandemic has had on them and how the Lamb Center has helped. The pandemic has really affected me in many ways. I became homeless um, through eviction. I have bronchial asthma since I was eight years old. Me, when I heard that it's upper respiratory, then I thought, oh yes, somebody with asthma, they can kill them rather quickly. I had an apartment before, and when I got incarcerated, obviously they all got evicted. And when I came out of incarceration, it was really hard for me to have housing and you know, so I, I, I was homeless instantly. When the pandemic started, well, through the lockdowns, and I lost my job uh, during the pandemic. That's when I came to Lamb Center. I um, lived out of my truck and um, went quite a few days without a shower. But, you know, I would do my best. I would go into Safeway, into the men's room, and wash up, shave and do the best I could. And then when I came here to the Lamb Center was when I was able to take a shower, which was, <laughs> uh, thank you. Well, when I first found out that I was qualified for the housing list, it felt like everything was finally falling into place. It also felt too good to be true. When I first moved into the hotel, I finally felt human, but I also, I didn't know what to do with myself because I'm used to being homeless. I kind of sat on the corner of my bed uh, trying to take it all in. Um, I believe there was a lot of crying involved and praying and thanking God. Lamb Center gives me, I, I, I couldn't even afford face masks, but we do get free face masks here. So that, that's a good thing to have uh, face masks and also uh, the food and everything that they provide us with here has been, but the pandemic has been uh, has been very tough on, it's been tough, but now that I have a place uh, through Lamb Center, it's, it's made it a, little, a lot much more easier for me. He's been homeless for a long time. He's been, oh, he's been up and down, up and down. And so I thank the Lamb Center so much for helping him out because they were able to talk to him and to get him to see that he needed some help getting medical attention and and homes and and it's it's, it's just wonderful for me to have and thank you so much please contribute to the lamb center your financial support of the lamb center will definitely, definitely help others. I have the great privilege of serving as the new chair of the Lamb Center Board. Past year, it's just been amazing to see the work of the Lamb Center staff as they've continued operations during the COVID pandemic. It's also been very heartening to see the response of the guests who have, with pretty much patience, accepted the changes in the routines and with true appreciation for the Lamb Center and its services. We're very thankful to Fairfax City and Fairfax County for continuing the jobs programs for our guests. Our case managers have worked diligently to identify guests who have been at high risk for coronavirus and to get them into some temporary housing that's been available. The pandemic sure has pointed out the inequities and the imbalances in housing in our area, and it's one of the hopes and dreams of the Lamb Center Board that we will work towards some permanent supportive housing for our guests. The funds that are given tonight go directly to the day-to-day -day operations of the Lamb Center. You're your support is vital to the work of the Lamb Center and we greatly appreciate your support. The mission that the Lamb Center does to service our community is just a, an amazing one. As a volunteer, I've enjoyed the talking with our guests, which is kind of sad right now because we can't talk uh, with them as much as we used to before the pandemic. And I've just noticed that there have been a lot of new people, despite their circumstances, what was going on in their life, and many of them are here because they're going through a rough patch. They still found it within themselves to uh, trust God, love God, and be grateful for what they had at this very moment. It made a difference in my life to hear that because I'm blessed in that I do have a roof over my head, food in my stomach every day, and uh, to hear someone who's not in those circumstances still praise God, thank God, is a good, good reminder and teaching uh, point to, to all of us. You don't always know what 
cause this person to be in the environment that they're in. And I saw amazing things happen around here. I saw some of our guests who went and got a job and they come and they are, um, you know, so, so happy I got the job and I have my own place now. As long as we have those donations, the Lamb Centre can continue to give hope for all these guests. And what really brought me to, to the Lamb Centre is that I was understood that you can work and then through the working program that you have here that it could eventually lead to other jobs, lead to permanent jobs. I learned about the work program, uh, the city jobs program, uh, because one of my main goals was to not just to get housing, but also to get back on my feet. What I love about city jobs being in nature, that it just changes my whole persona. This hat means something to me. I earned this hat, and everybody you see wearing this hat, they earn it because they got out there. We do the work that some a lot of people don't want to do. You know, we get in the woods, we're in the woods, we're in the streams, we're at the dumps and so forth, working. And it gives you a kind of sense of self, and I feel good being a part of that. I'm helping nature. And the goal is always that transformation in their life in which at the end we're able to restore them to the community. So we start by meeting people where they are and building a relationship in which they start to feel their own dignity and their self-worth and we begin where they need to begin. So if they don't have an ID, we work with them on getting an ID that might need a um, birth certificate and social security card because you need those things now to get a job. And then we work with people on getting connected to the programs that they need. Not only do we do housing, but we try to reestablish relationships with families. A woman that came in, you could tell she had some mental health issues, but she was not connected to her family. And I called them and they were absolutely in tears because they had no idea where their mother was, how she was doing. And that was very gratifying that the connection took place. A lot of them lost their jobs due to this pandemic. Some of them do have housing, but weren't able to to pay for rent due to the loss of their jobs. So we had been able to get unemployment and with that they had been able to pay their bills and just pay their expenses. The IQ shelters were set up because of uh, the pandemic to make sure that people uh, didn't contract the virus. And a lot of our guests use transportation, uh, they're outside a lot, so we wanted to make sure that you know, not only they were safe, but the community was safe as well. And before we used to get people where their tents get washed out by the, by the rain and they lose their documents again. And now we know that it's less people outside um, and that we, we have been part of that process and it's very, it's just amazing. When we heard about City Jobs, that I think both piqued both of our interests quite a bit because not only was the Lamb Center helping nourish people's body and soul, now it's helping them get back on their feet and get back into the community. So that was extremely intriguing for us and we wanted to help. What excites me is you know, the, the, the vision and the goals that the Lamb Center has for the future and you know, where do we see this going and, and how can other people get involved? Elizabeth and I made a decision you know, to get involved personally and get involved with our business and, and put ourselves out there both monetarily and, and volunteering. Uh, but you know, we're also hoping that you know, with our involvement that the community will step up and see what we do and also get involved. And it doesn't matter if it's a dollar uh, or 10 minutes of your time and whether it's volunteering or monetary, whatever you can do, I think every little um, every little thing that you can do really just helps. So if you're anything like me, you get super busy in life, things fall to the wayside that you meant to do. If you're inspired, if you feel compelled, if your heart is speaking to you, please donate and do it tonight. Just do it tonight while you're here, you're thinking about it, you've got the time, the energy's in the room and, and God's watching. And it's, it's an outpouring of your heart. Please do it tonight, don't wait. They really need your help now, thank you. As a reminder, our matching gift fund is a way for you to double the impact of your gift tonight. Here is our opportunity to hear what our guests hope to achieve with the support of the Land Center. My hopes and dreams are, well, my, ain't no hope. What, a, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get me a full-time job, get my apartment, and I'm still going to come here every now and then, but ain't no looking back. And I'm going to hold on to that apartment for dear life. And I'm going to work for the, until, I, until I can't work no more. It almost wasn't real at first. 
you know, if I felt that somebody was going to come through the door and say, hey, it's time to leave. You've been here long enough, you know, because of all the temporary places that I had been. And when I finally realized that, that it was mine, that I would be waking up every morning in a bed, uh, having my own bathroom. And of course, the big thing for me was opening up the refrigerator door and saying, oh, all that food's mine. <laughs> I just, um, it just really hit home. Big hopes and dreams due to the Lamb Center, finding regular employment where I'm giving back. Not, not only making an income, but also giving back to the community. They've provided me with everything I've needed so far. Um, food, um, well, yeah. uh, they started me up with a tent. At least a tent is a place to lay your head. Um, I was in the tent area not too long and um, through my case manager, Mr. Tanner, um, was able to get me a hotel room. So it's, it's, a, it's a good step um, and I'm looking forward uh, to work, working and making it better. Lamson has been, a, has been a, a place where I've, I couldn't even imagine. They've been, they've, they've been so helpful, very helpful in terms of everything. That's all I want is another chance to, to live as a, just, just to be normal. What I, what's, what's the quote normal is? I, I thank God that for meeting the people that I meet here and giving me the strength to keep, keep moving on. I want to ask you to join with me this evening in supporting the Lamb Center. And I hope that you will make a generous contribution tonight. One of the things I love about the Lamb Center is it brings hope. The Bible tells us that hope is the anchor of the soul. And the Lamb Center brings hope to folks that don't have a lot of hope. And it brings hope that can overcome despair. It can also bring hope to you and me because don't you and I both want to know that we can do something that will make a difference. Well, here we have an opportunity to do that, here and now, tonight. So, let me ask you to join with me in doing that. And I'm reminded that Jesus, after he rose, made a point of visiting his loved ones, his apostles and disciples, and mostly Peter, to encourage them. And he said to Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Feed my lambs. It's been so nice to share this evening of hope, transformation, and love with you. Will you continue to help us to serve our community? Hi, friends. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Your love and support mean so much to us and how we miss you during this hard year, not being able to share smiles and hugs. Would you pray with me, please? Lord, thank you for this evening. Thank you for the sacred sharing of our guests. Thank you for our volunteers and donors who keep this place running and are the hands and feet of Jesus to us here every day. Lord, we pray a special blessing on this evening. We pray that you would open up the floodgates and let the support and love continue to flow here, not just for this season, Lord, but for the years to come. And I thank you, Lord, that we received recently a thank you card from one of our guests. He said, thank you so much for being the hands and feet of Jesus here. You all rock. You guys show so much love, tenderness, and dedication to the homeless community. Every day, you have a smile, and kind word to encourage us to keep striving towards our goal of independent living. Thank you for your prayers. You have love gushing out of your every act. You are the Lamb Sinner's heartbeat. And my friends, this evening at home, you are the heartbeat as well. Thank you for supporting us with your beautiful heart. We love you and are so grateful for you. Amen.